Okay, so today's the 10th oh, anniversary of Million Women Rise. This is really significant because it's basically about 10 years of a group of women, groups of women rising up to protest against men's violence against women and girls, protesting against state violence, literally going, we've had enough. And what's unique around about Million Women Rise, it's a woman-only march, it's gathering women from all over the country, and in some cases, women are coming from as far as Auckland, as far as Bolivia, etc., to basically say, We've had enough, we are, we're not prepared to take this anymore. We want changes in legislation, we want protections for women, and we want, to, we want men to stop abusing women. We want yeah. funding for women's services, we want funding for services that specifically focus on black and minority ethnic women. No more, we've had enough, we're tired. Women are st um, sick of being treated like second class citizens, and we want our sisters freed from detention centres like Yarswood. We need them closed down, and we need them closed down today. A lot of women actually economically, and because of different reasons, can't actually be here today, yeah. and because of domestic violence and lots of different reasons. So yeah. we're here representing our sisters. So yeah. we're a million, because there's millions of women dying every day. Yeah, and we want to just show the world that we rise and will continue to rise yeah always always, always. Well, I'm here today to protest against the violence that women and girls are subjected to because of their sex I'm hoping that the media pick up on this um, and that men in particular take note of what we're saying and what we're all about because I just think without no education and no marches, nothing will ever change.